Hey everybody, Rich here from the Old Net with another exciting firmware announcement for hashtag Marchintosh. Uh, we're getting the Mac online using a plug and play Wi Fi solution. We're using my uh, the Old Net Wi Fi modem emulator with a updated uh, firmware patch that allows PPP connection and in turn TCP IP. So this is a true plug and play solution to uh, get connected to the internet with your Mac. Uh, over serial. Now I'm posting this video April 1st and what happened was I spent the last week of March trying to get Slip running on a Mac just like how I did on DOS and I tried it on both of my machines here. I just couldn't get the software configuration and the right OS. I, I couldn't find enough information online to get me through it and I just thought it was a lost cause. Uh, then today I woke up and I went on to my Discord server and I saw that uh, one of the members of the old net submitted a patch, submitted a, an enhancement to the firmware offering PPP support. Uh, and what's more amusing about this is he posted this a few days ago, so still during March, basically when I was trying to work on this video. So I guess I am truly the April Fool here. Anyway, what is PPP? What is Slip? What's going on? So some of you know that I sell this device, you plug into pretty much any retro computer with a serial port and you can get Wi-Fi access. It emulates a dial-up modem. What that doesn't give you is networking. It doesn't give you the TCP IP protocol. You can't go to websites through this modem. Until recently, we discovered a a uh, firmware that gives you the SLIP protocol, which is the Serial Line Interface Protocol. And I did a video about that showing how to get online on MS-DOS and presumably any system that supports SLIP. Uh, the point-to-point -point protocol is a protocol that came out after SLIP and it's a more robust, more enhanced uh, protocol and it's what dial-up internet uh, was uh, for all of us back in, in the mid-90s getting online. So this is, this is a great step forward. Kudos to, uh, on GitHub, username CrackMonkey uh, for submitting the patch. I, I really appreciate it because PPP is something I wanted for a long time in this firmware, and I just haven't learned enough to figure out uh, how to do it. So this is a, a huge leap forward, and I thank you for, honestly, for contributing to the community and for um, uh, working with me on this. This is fantastic. So what do we got? I got a Mac plugged in, running the new firmware. We're going to find out how to configure it, and you're going to see the best part about this is it's truly plug and play. You don't have to flash different firmware like with the slip implementation. You don't have to use a Raspberry Pi. You don't have to like configure a Linux operating system to act as an internet service provider. This is truly, I think, the first plug and play solution to like universally get systems online. You can do a modem uh, and do Telnet, you can do SLIP for TCP IP, you could do PPP for TCP IP, and I think this opens up a lot of opportunities. So, how does it work? Let's get right into the configuration. Okay, let's talk about what we've got here. Uh, to start, we're going to need a terminal to do some configuration, to set things up, tell it to go into PPP mode. Nothing different than what you'd be used to with this modem anyway. In the regular uh, terminal mode, you'd use that term to connect to bulletin board systems, configure your Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go in here and we're going to turn on TCP mode, um, or sorry, PPP server. And then on our Mac, we go to configure PPP. Um, so you're going to need a Mac that has the PPP and TCP IP in extensions in installed. So how you tell is you go into control panel and if you see configure PPP here, that's good. And if you see TCP here, that's also good. Uh, if you don't have either of those, uh, you either need to install those extensions from the Macintosh install disk yourself, or maybe you need to upgrade your version of Mac OS. So TCP settings are quite easy. We go in here and we change it to Mac PPP. You can see InterSlip here. InterSlip is what I was trying to use to get the slip firmware working. But here we go, Mac PPP. And then for a DNS server, just enter Google's or whichever DNS server you prefer, but you do have to specify one. So Google's is 8.8.8.8. .8 .8. So telling it to use Mac PPP, configure using, uh, using PPP server, that's all you need to do for TCP configuration. Okay. For PPP, we want to make a new server. So click new and type in a server name. I typed in the old net and that takes you back to the screen. Uh, once you select the old net, hit configure and we need to set a few things up. So first off, um, I can't really get stable internet at 57,600. 
I'm going to look into the code and maybe the design of the hardware and see if there's ways to get it more stable at higher speeds. For now, I'm going to demo this at 9600 BPS. And we're going to choose no flow control. Uh, again, if um, something I hope to work on in the future. And uh, that's it. We don't need to set up anything else. Okay. And when we're ready to go, we're going to hit open to connect. But before we do that, we have to tell the modem to act as a PPP server. So in Zterm, I'm connected at uh, 9600 baud to my modem. And this is what anyone who has this modem uh, is already used to. Um, and here we go. Um, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. I have other videos showing how to do your initial connection. But what you have to do here is issue ATDT PPP. When we hit enter, the server is going to turn on and we can connect the PPP server. There we go. And I'm going to go over here and hit open. There we go, we are connected and I go to Internet Explorer and let's see how it's doing. <laughs> All right, here we go and how cool is that? Now I had to pause for a second, retrace some steps. I had to close the terminal after I said ATDT PPP. Leaving the terminal open uh, was, was messing things up. And uh, so I paused, restarted, got back here, remembered close out the terminal um, after I start up the server, hit open to connect, and then everything was fine. Look how cool this is. Now it's gonna take forever at 9600 to download all the crazy GIFs on my page and stuff like that, but just so cool. Like true, true, true Wi-Fi, TCP. Uh, you got basically three options to get online with this modem now. Let's go over to... Uh, uh, let's go over to one of my good colleagues' sites. Um, it'll be quite slow, but that's okay. Uh, so yeah, going into the future, this is what I want. Higher speeds, a, a stabler at higher speeds. Um, on, on, I, I am working on a more stable flow control, at the least, okay? Uh, the other thing is... Um, uh, we can we can improve the behavior of this feature a bit. Like maybe some people only want PPP mode. So instead of having to toggle it on every time, maybe that's a choice to say when you turn on the modem, it's in PPP mode. And, um, uh, you know, then if you want to reset it to default, just hold flash like usual. Hey, let's see if um, we're going to use the old net to go to frog find to pull up the old net. Uh, <laughs> And then I'll use the plugin on my site to use Frog Find again, and that'll go on forever. So um, I hope you guys find this exciting. I really think this is um, like next level stuff. Uh, I have so many ideas of what I could do now. I think it's great that people don't have to do all the hardware config anymore. If you just want to dust off the computer you had as a kid and load it up, see, this is so slow, it's probably never even going to... Uh, resolve but maybe you have an old computer you want to dust off you just want to have some fun with it buy this modem plug it in you do need to know a little bit like all the at commands and stuff like that but uh you don't have to set up an operating system set up a a, a tty and set up your ppp server and edit the, the the config for that so that you've got your tcp routes and all this stuff that i've done on my raspberry pi and my linux box before uh it's it's great i i can't wait to see how this evolves over the next year and uh, you can check out i'd say this is experimental right now but it's on it's on github you can go uh, to the old nets github to check it out thanks